Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog on the channel. Today's a Wednesday. It's a really gloomy Wednesday. It's very overcast. It was raining all night and all day, but I love this weather. It feels super cozy. Like I just want to put on twilight while I work today. And I'm gonna just spend a day at home and get some things done. I got back from Chicago a few days ago, so I'm doing all of my resetting in this vlog and just getting my life back on track. I'm not gonna travel for a while now. I'm gonna be spending lots of time at home. So I just wanted to get back into my routine and do the resetting that I usually always do every week. I'm gonna make breakfast really quick. I'm starving, so I'm gonna do that. And then we can have a quick chat. I've been eating this the past few days and it is low fat cottage cheese. And I have it on a piece of toasted sourdough bread. And this is my favorite like non-cooked breakfast because usually, typically I will make eggs every morning in some sort of variation. But lately, I've been loving this. And so I have this strawberry and rhubarb jam. I actually got this in Wisconsin back when we went to visit and it's pretty much all gone. So it is delicious. I love rhubarb. And I just put this all over the top of this, kind of just like spread it out. And then I'm gonna take some walnuts. I'm gonna like crush them up a little bit and put them all over the top. Sprinkle it on there. So hungry right now. This is my first meal of the day. I just had a workout. So I always try to get a lot of protein right after a workout. Okay, and then I'm gonna do just a little bit of chia seeds on the top for some fiber. Last step, I'm gonna drizzle some honey over the top. This is nice if you you know, have a sweet tooth in the morning. I usually don't. I usually have more of a savory craving every single morning, but this is a kind of healthier option. So delicious. Let me know if you guys try and if you like it. And you don't have to use rhubarb. You can use any kind of jam or I think fig also would be really good with this. I'm gonna try out a new coffee. This one I got from Trader Joe's a while back, but I haven't used it yet. It's the medium roast whole bean coffee and I'm gonna grind it up in my little grinder. This is from Amazon. I think I've gotten questions about that in the past. If you want me to relink this, let me know in the comments, but I think I also have it linked on my storefront. Pretty much everything I say is from Amazon is linked on my storefront, and that's always linked in my description. So I'm gonna actually refill my little canister that I keep like up here on my shelves, these little shelves. Um, I like to, you know, pre-grind the coffee grounds so that in the morning when I make my coffee, I don't have to do this every time. <clears throat> I can just have it here ready to go, ready to scoop. This little canister, by the way, is from Amazon. I always get questions about it, so this is where I keep my coffee grounds. Mmm. Smells really good. It smells strong. Okay, canister is all full. I'm gonna make some coffee now. I usually put about four or five scoops in here. Also, I'm thinking about moving my coffee machine to like somewhere else. Like I'm thinking about moving it um, over there where that round mirror is, like right under there. I'm thinking about setting up a coffee station over there because every time I make a coffee over here, I have to slide it out because it won't open all the way because the cabinets are in the way. So. Let me know what you guys think of that idea. Um, but I don't know, I like, like how it is right now. I like the decor that's on there. I don't really want any like drinks and mess over there. I wanna keep kind of all the mess in the kitchen. So that's why I'm conflicted, but I don't mind pulling this thing out. It doesn't bother me. Update on my coffee machine because I think it's been about two months now since I got it. I got this back for Christmas actually. It was a Christmas gift from Otto and so I've been using it about a month and a half, two months, and I still love it. It works perfectly fine because this coffee machine also had a lot of negative reviews on the Walmart website. It's from the Drew Barrymore Beautiful line, and I also have the tea kettle, as you can see. I love both. I have had no issues, knock on wood. I've had no issues with, with either appliance. And I think the main bad review on the website was the leaky handle. 
But I have not experienced that, again, knock on wood. Haven't experienced any leaking. Um, the program works really good too. You know when you can set a self timer for it to start brewing on its own. It's all been working great, so I love it. I just picked up these two Chobani creamers. I've tried the vanilla several times before, but this is my first time trying the hazelnut. So I think we'll do this today. I love hazelnut because it reminds me of Nutella. Mm. Mm. I did my fridge restock yesterday. I got a bunch of stuff from Aldi, just all the stuff that I normally get, my protein shakes, um, my like kind of snack and lunch foods. I have some chicken and turkey down there that I'll defrost and cook for dinner. And I'm gonna be making these snack trays. I have a lot of food related things I wanna get done today and show you guys how I do that. So we'll do that later on the vlog. I wanna prepare my wellness shots. I want to make some juices with my juicer using fresh apples, celery and all that. I really wanna just like put healthier things into my body because the past month I have not been eating well. I've gone on two trips celebrated like five birthdays. So starting now, today is February 28th. Starting now, I am just getting back on track with healthy, nutritious foods and drinks. So I kind of want to cleanse my body a little bit. And um, that's why I want to make some green juices later. And then I also want to make some healthy snack trays. But for now, we're gonna drink my coffee and let's chat i'll talk about my chicago trip a little bit so my chicago vlog is up if you haven't seen that yet definitely go check it out i tried to vlog everything we did all the restaurants we went to the sightseeing touristy things we did we did get to see the bean but they had it blocked off so i don't know how long they're doing that construction if you plan on visiting anytime soon um just know that there's a huge fence around it and i guess they're just doing construction so we saw it, but we weren't able to like get up close right next to it. Hopefully next time I go, and I do want to go again. A lot of you guys were commenting on my vlog saying that I need to go in the summertime. And I totally agree. I want to go back in the summertime so bad. I love the Midwest during summertime. My family is from Minnesota and Wisconsin. So like I know the weather in the Midwest. Like I, I knew it was going to be super cold in Chicago, but actually it was surprisingly really warm. It was in the 50s the day we got there. Um, but it did snow the next day, so there's global warming for you. And then it was cold the rest of the trip. But yeah, I love the Midwest in the summertime. Every time we visit our family. And my family lives kind of like south of, like on the south tip of like the borderline of Minnesota and Wisconsin. So it's like, I'd say maybe, I don't know, maybe a two hour drive from Chicago is where my family lives. So I love going there in the summertime. The weather is gorgeous. So I can just imagine how beautiful Chicago is during the summer. So Ancho said he wanted to go. He's always wanted to go to Chicago. He's never been to. So next time I go, it'll probably be with him and definitely we'll go when the weather is warmer and I want to do the little like riverfront or I don't know what they call it, but that little boat ride that goes on the lake and then I want to go to Navy Pier next time. But we did, you know, see all the basic things like the Bean Millennium Park. We did get to go to the Sky Deck. It was actually the 360 experience. So it's the one where you can um, pay an extra $10 to go on that thing that tilts. You hold on to the railing. If you guys saw that vlog, you saw my friends do it. And she was like squatting because she was scared. And I don't blame her. I would be too scared. I was too scared to do it. We just got such a nice view of the city. It was on the 95th floor of that building. It was gorgeous. They had a bar on the same exact floor. It was called the Cloud Bar. You can get um, drinks. I don't think they had food, but it was a really cool, like that would be a really nice date just sitting up there getting a, a drink and just looking at the view. It was really fun. The restaurants we went to, we went to a lot. Um, I think my favorite one was Hide and Seek. That was Italian. That was where we had Ida's birthday dinner with the like sparklers and they had the menu that was customized with her name on it so if you want to have a birthday dinner in chicago i would recommend that place it was really nice so yeah it was a really good trip and oh yeah the crime and mob tour so much fun if you're into history or just just that whole area like mobs and crimes and gangsters and, and like the prohibition era because a lot of the mob activity happened during the prohibition era so I myself am very, very into American history. It was really fun learning about the different activities of these mobsters. And I'm gonna actually watch a movie tonight. It's 
with Johnny Depp and it's based on one of the guys. His name is John Dillinger. I think that's how you say his last name, but he was like a notorious bank robber in Chicago in the 20s and we learned all about him on the tour. And there's this movie called Public Enemies with Johnny Depp and it's based on that criminal. So I'm gonna maybe watch that tonight. And yeah, so overall, great experience. Can't wait to go back again in warmer weather. But even though it was cold, it didn't bother us. We are well adjusted to the cold, well used to it. So it was kind of fun actually, because it was snowing that one night and we were just like dancing in the snow and having such a fun time. I got a few packages. Some of them are PR, some of them I bought. I got a couple things from Amazon. So I mentioned I wanted to make these healthy snack trays. I picked up these bento boxes to use when making my little healthy snack trays just to help separate them better. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Comes with four of them. Love the colors. And yeah, they're basically separated into these little compartments. I think there's six or five of them. And you can put like different things in it. So I want to do like hummus, cottage cheese, um, crackers, carrot sticks, celery sticks, stuff like that. I just want to prep them and have them in my fridge so when I'm ready for a snack and I get hungry, I can just grab one and it'll be like a little adult lunchable is what I like to consider it. So yeah, these were, I think, 10 to $15 for four of them. I will link them in my description. And then the other thing I got from Amazon, I bought this while I was in Chicago because Ida brought magnesium with her and I was having trouble sleeping the first night there. So she gave me magnesium the next night and I slept so good. I usually take my moon juice magnesium and that stuff is okay, but I feel like this worked so much better. This is the uh, magnesium triple complex. This is just what the bottle looks like. So yeah, it's a triple complex. So it has all these other things in it. These citrate, glycinate, malate. So this helps to support muscle health, bone health, heart health, cognitive function, energy production, and nerve function. So yeah, I got these because I just loved it. Like I took it the last two nights we were in Chicago and I slept good both nights. I'll link in my description, but credit to Ida for for getting me hip to that. Okay, that's all from Amazon. I think the rest are PR packages. This one is from Truly Razor. And this is a brightening and, oh, it's a deodorant. Helps with brightening and ingrowns. Ooh, mm, smells so good. Smells like coconut. This smells like a summer scent. Yeah, that's really cool. I hope that works because I feel like I have dark under underarms, so maybe I'll use that, maybe that'll help. Oh, this came opened. Good thing it didn't spill because it's a shave butter, a whip, whip shave butter. I actually need a new shaving cream, so we'll definitely use that. It smells so good. I love how Truly packages their products. Like, I just want to eat it. It looks like whipped cream. I just want to lick it. This is the aftershave moisturizer. I feel like all these things are going to be very useful in the summertime. And then an aftershave oil. Oh my god, this just got me so excited for warm weather. Okay, this package is from Too Faced. Yeah, I just got on Too Faced's PR list and they've been sending some good PR lately. Look at everything in here. They actually um, had me fill out like products that I wanted to try. So these are things I picked out. So we have the dark chocolate sole, is that how you say it? Uh, bronzer. I have the Too Faced Sun Bunny bronzer. If you guys have seen me do my makeup videos, that is the bronzer I use every single time I do my makeup. So I'm in love and love, love, love with their bronzer. So I wanted to try this one. Dark chocolate matte. Kind of smells, kind of smells like chocolate too. And I love the matte brown packaging so pretty okay this is the cloud crush it's a blush cloud crush blush in the shade watermelon rain oh my god again with the beautiful packaging and this shade i did pick out this shade it's like a dark shade is this a cream base no it's it's powder this is moon crush it's a highlighter here we go again with the gorgeous compacts this is in the shade Summer Moon, and that's what that looks like. It's kind of gold, gold uh, champagne. And then we have the Ultra Hydrating Lip Treatment, the Hangover Pillow Balm. I used to use the Hangover, um, was it like the moisturizer or the serum? I used to use that in college all the time. Let's see how this is. 
There's a, a horror movie on TV right now. I have like the Samsung movie hub. Does anyone with Samsung TVs, like when you turn on your TV, it automatically goes to the Samsung channels. So every time I turn it on, it's just like weird movies playing. Love that. It's kind of like minty. Kind of tingles a little bit. I like it. Okay, this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I used to use this so much in college. The better than sex, but the waterproof version so that you don't get the blacks under your eyes. A waterproof mascara is so essential for me because my eyes get so teary. This is the Makeup Insurance. It is the Longwear Setting Spray and also Blue Light Defense. So I thought that was cool. Never tried it before, but I thought it was interesting. I don't know if it actually works, but it's supposedly supposed to help block, you know, the blue light that computers and phones and screens give off. Next package is from Versed Skincare. What is this movie? I never know the movies on these channels because I don't know how to work the Samsung remote. We have the Replenishing Body Lotion SPF 30. Perfect for warm weather. We also have the SPF 35 Daily Mineral Sunscreen. This is the all-in-one hydrating milk. And then also the Overnight Barrier Balm. I chose these products as well, um, and I wanted to get like SPF focus products. And lastly, we have this package, Eber J. I think they do pajamas and sleepwear and loungewear. Oh my gosh. We have the Giselle Rib Long PJ set. The material feels so good. It's this long sleeve rib pajama top. These are gonna be the perfect summer pajamas. They feel really lightweight and airy. I love a good long sleeve pajama set. So I'm gonna wash this and wear that tonight. Alrighty, that's all that we have to open. So I'm gonna wash these. I want to make my little snack, my snack packs right now my adult lunchable this is everything i'm going to put in there some carrot sticks these mini sweet bell peppers these little um i think these are the, like the laughing cow cheeses but i got them from aldi and then these little single mini cups of roasted red pepper some turkey breast and then these reduced fat thin wheats Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with how cute these turned out. And I did calculate the calories for one of these. It's roughly 350 calories for one tray. So not too bad for a lot of food. And this is everything I like. You can put whatever you want in. I think I'm gonna actually eat one of them now because I'm getting kind of hungry, but I don't really want to eat lunch yet. But I think this would be so perfect if you have kids and you wanna like prepare their snacks and you don't have time to make them their snacks, you know, during the day. You can just pull one of these out and maybe not just even for snacks. You can even use this for their lunches too. This would be great for meal prepping. I'm like an adult kid, so these are my adult Lunchables. So now I'm gonna make my green juices and wellness shots. This is everything I'm gonna be putting in the green juice. Some apples, celery, Cucumber, I also have some spinach I need to go grab, and then lemon, and then I really wanted to put the ginger in the green juices, but I reserved the ginger for my ginger lemon shots, so I also will grab some more lemons for the wellness shots, and in the wellness shots, I do ginger, lemon, turmeric powder, cayenne, black pepper, and I would normally put an orange, but I forgot to grab one from the store, so, and then I add water to that, and then I grind that up, and those are the wellness shots. I made those plenty of times, so I won't show that again. I feel like that's gonna be repetitive, but I will try to find a vlog where I did it step by step and show you guys that. And these are the bottles I'm gonna put the juices in. I got these in a set of six. These are glass with these screw-on lids. Every time I make juices, these are my go-tos, really love them. And they're from Amazon. And then my little shot glasses, these are also from Amazon, but these are like, not good quality. I need to probably buy some glass bottles. 
uh, maybe like miniature ones of these. I'm not gonna link them because I don't recommend them. Um, but I will link better quality ones and I think I might place a new order today for some new shot bottles. So yeah, let's get to choosing. <laughs> I am blown away by how comfortable the new PJs are. I put them in the wash. They just came out of the dryer, so they're super warm and the material is nothing like I've ever felt before. I love the all white. I've never ever had all white pajamas, surprisingly, but I feel like it's so cute for like warmer weather. I'll link these in my description if you wanna check them out. I got size medium and it's still like pretty oversized. And now I wanna go get more pairs. I'm gonna have to check out the website tonight. But I just made some dinner. I ate leftovers. I cooked last night. I made some chicken breast and I just put it on some arugula, had a side of rice, and it was a really basic dinner. But now I'm gonna chill on the couch. I've just had Modern Family on all day, but I think I'm gonna start watching Love is Blind. I already know who the couples are because I keep seeing clips on TikTok, but I kind of just want to watch to see how the couples form and develop. I used to be an avid watcher of the show. I watched the first three seasons. I'm still team Cameron and Lauren, best couple on the show so far of all seasons. I'm not a fan of the hosts, specifically Vanessa Lachey. I, I remember the last season I watched, I think it was season, it was the season when um, it was Kwame and like, what was her name? Chelsea, was that, was that the couple? The guy that was from Portland but she wanted him to move to Seattle. That was the last season I watched. And I remember at the reunion, Vanessa was acting like she was drunk and she seemed really biased. I just didn't like her vibe. So that's why I stopped watching. And I haven't watched since then, but I think I'm gonna start watching this season. But um, yeah, I'm gonna just be chilling. I feel like it's kind of weird that I still have my Apple Watch on. I like to keep it on up until the moment I lay down in bed because every step counts. I wanna be able to count every single step I take during the day. So right now I only have 4,600 steps. I always try to get 10,000 a day, but I didn't even leave the house today. So I guess 4,600 for just staying in the house is pretty good. Um, but I did burn 7, 33 calories. Can you even see that? This is my update so far. Right now it's 7.20 p.m. And I have 7, 34 calories burned. 60 minutes worked out and 11 hours standing. So I closed my rings, but I just like to keep track of steps. I am playing on my iPad while I watch TV. Anto surprised me with a new iPad. 
right before I left for Chicago, I was so blindsided because he actually bought a new iPad for himself and I was like helping him pick it out, helping him decide what gigabytes he should get. And so he bought it and then um, he came back home and then he gave me a box, like the iPad box. And I thought it was his iPad and I thought he was just giving it to me to show me his new iPad. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool, let me check it out. And then he was like, no, that's for you. I was like, huh? He said, no, I got you one too. I was like, are you serious? So he ended up getting me a new iPad. My old one was, I think it was about five years old. I got it back in 2018, I believe. And I think that was the sixth generation. So this is the newest one. It's the 10th generation. And I love this blue color. Ugh, so gorgeous. They also have that hot pink color too, but I'm really glad he got me the blue because if you guys have been watching my vlogs recently, I have just been loving blue. So I am addicted to playing Sims on my iPad. That's pretty much what I do like 85% of the time is play Sims. Oh my God, I love, like does anyone else play Sims? It's funny because a few years ago, I used to play Sims all the time and this is the free version, like the app that you can download on your phone. And I haven't played it in years, but I used to love playing it on my phone, but it's just so much more fun playing it on like a bigger screen. Right now my Sims are at the police station. They're working. It's just so much fun. So honestly, like in my free time, I have just been playing this. Even when I was like making the wellness shots and the green juices earlier, I had my iPod, my iPad propped open and like I was like monitoring my Sims. <laughs> my little Sims. I love them. I have um, like... 13 sims right now and I'm on level 14 I just started last week and when I was in Chicago every time we went back to the hotel room I was like just so excited to check on my sims and see what they were up to does anyone else play this game if not please do it's so fun I just feel like um what was that game when we were growing up in the 90s Tamagotchi or Chia yeah I remember Tamagotchi I think that's what it was called the little Tamagotchi pets the little circle things I just feel like that's what it is, except just so much more advanced. So yeah, that's my new iPad. Maybe I'll do an iPad tour soon because I kind of customize my home screen a little bit. I guess I can show you now. Let me just make sure there's like not any confidential information. Okay, there's like one thing. Let me just make sure that's being covered. I have a meeting tomorrow and it's on my calendar here. Cover it that way, but yeah, that's my home screen. I got my wallpaper on um, Pinterest and then I customized the widgets with an app called Widget Smith. So I can do a tour or like a what's on my iPad video if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, I love it. And then this case I got from Amazon, it's brown and that's normally not a color I would go for, but I don't know. I like brown. I want it to be different. I didn't want to just get black or white or something I would always get. So yes, that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my night. I'm drinking Coke Zero. But I'm going to make my sleepy girl mocktail soon, which is, I made that, which vlog was that? Oh, it was my pack and prep vlog. I made that. It was tart cherry juice, sparkling water, and then magnesium powder, but since I have the new magnesium tablets that I just got from Amazon, I'm gonna take that instead. I won't use the powder in my drink. So it'll just be tart cherry juice and sparkling water. So I'll make that later. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because I'm not gonna be doing much for the rest of the night. I'm watching TV, playing Sims. So, okay guys, that's all for me today. I'll link everything I mentioned in the description. My, um, green juice bottles, the Amazon stuff, the bento boxes, the magnesium pills. I'll link my iPad case if you guys are interested. I'll link the exact iPod, or I keep saying iPod. Did I say iPod, iPod case? iPad, I'll link my iPad too if you guys wanna know the exact one that I have. Mine is the 256 gigabyte one. Um, and also let me know in the comments if you want me to do and in depth what's on my iPad and stuff like that. So, okay guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.